Okay, because it's Easter, I'm going to do some little bunnies for the kids to have a go at. Um, you're going to need some paper. Some, well, some watercolour paper. I've got some sketch paper just to show you the drawing, but you need some watercolour paper, pencil, um, an eraser. I'm going to use a fine liner. Also, just one paintbrush today. I'm going to do these fairly small, and I'm just going to use this this brush that's got a bit of a well, a bit of a tatty end, but just a round ended paintbrush. Um, my palette, the paints that I'm going to use, I've got. If you're someone that actually has proper watercolor paints, um, it's I've got some Van Dyke Brown, some burnt sienna, some permanent rose, and some indigo, which is basically. For those of you that have just got a normal little palette, a dark brown, a warm brown, a pink, and a bluey black. Doesn't really matter what colours you use for this, you can really do whatever you like. Okay, oh, and a pot of water as well. So what we're going to do first off, I'll just show you the shapes that you're going to be drawing to do these. We're going to do three different rabbits. Oh, and if I run out of lead, I've just got a HB pencil. And we're going to do some Easter egg shapes to start with. So first up, I'm going to draw an Easter egg on its side here and actually if you when you go to sketch it you don't have to don't try and get it all in one tidy line just find be loose with the strokes and just find find the shape that you want with on all those messy lines because we can rub off the mess later so I've got one of my Easter egg shapes here and then I'm going to do a bigger one coming down Again, just really loosely. Now I'm doing this a little bit darker so that you can actually see it. Well, I'm hoping that you can see it, but there's my second Easter egg shape. Then I'm gonna bring my pencil down and come around and do a bit of a half circle in here, like that. Then I'm gonna do a foot from the bottom there, bit of a tail, so a circle around here. Now, if I come up the top here, I'm gonna join the back of the head here to the back of that Easter egg. So you can, if I rub out that line, you can see that a bit more clearly, that that's the back of the neck of the rabbit. Down here, I'm gonna rub out this line here because that's where the, um, the leg comes into the foot there. I'm gonna put in some ears, so one ear, and another ear behind it. And up here, I'm gonna rub out that line because this ear joins, this is the one that's at the front, that is at the back. So I'm gonna just rub that line out there. Now, in here, I'm tidying up some of my messy lines. Now I've gotta work out what to do here in the chest. Now I, I drew that Easter egg shape to give me the, the basic shape, but now I wanna change that a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub this out here. Now I'm going to give him a little bit of a, a little bit of a chest and then a bit of a paw there. And that's, that's pretty much my basic rabbit shape. Well, my first one anyway, get rid of that. I like them to stay there. Now, if you were, um, do, if you've drawn this on your, yeah, you can practice on your little sketch pad first when you go to draw this on your actual watercolor paper. You can run the run the eraser over the top of it and back off some of those lines. I actually don't mind these with the lines in them, so I'm not gonna worry too much, but that's our first shape. We'll do the eyes and the nose and everything when we get to do the painting. All right, the second one, similar idea. We're gonna do the second one where we're looking at the rabbit from the back. So I'm gonna do the Easter egg shape again. Oh, I'm running out of lead with my pencil. So the Easter egg shape, then this time, the second Easter egg, I'm gonna do, come straight down. So this one I did on a bit of a slope. This one I'm gonna come straight down. They're pretty pointy Easter eggs, I get that. All right, so they're my two first. My little Easter egg, my big Easter egg. Now, I'm gonna make him a little bit fatter down the bottom. So down here, I'm gonna put a little bit more on each side, and then I'm gonna do a, a tail. Now again up here, I'm gonna do that same thing where I join the back of the head to the body so that I've got a neck. There, I'll rub out that line. A little bit tidier. Okay, now up here, I'm gonna rub just that little bit of the Easter egg out here. Again, you know, I did the same thing there. And I'm gonna bring this line 
in a little bit. And here, I'm gonna just give him, that's, the, that's his arm at the front coming down in front of him. So I've just got that slight little idea that that's his turn to the side. Now I'm gonna do one ear and another ear. And here I'm gonna rub out, because this ear is at the front, so I'm gonna rub out that little line there. And that's probably about where I'll leave that one. So there's the two bunnies that are sitting up. Now I'm gonna do one more that's just um, hunched over a little bit, I guess. So same idea, still with our um, little Easter egg at the front. Okay, and now I'm gonna, the second Easter egg when I draw it, I'm gonna make it a little bit leaning over this way. So that's our second egg shape. Okay, then I'm gonna put in a leg. So I'm gonna come in and draw a little bit of a curve there and put in his foot there. Again, I'm gonna do that thing where I join the back of his um, head to the body and rub out that little line there so you can see what's going on. I reckon this one's head might actually be a little bit big, but we'll see. Tail on the back there. Uh, and again with the ears, one ear and another one behind. And so this one, rub out that little bit so I can see easily which ear is in front and which ear is behind. And again, I'm now gonna fiddle with this chest bit. So I'm gonna rub that line out and then I'm gonna give him a little bit of the chest, come in and that's where he is, so he's leaning over. I'll rub that line out there too. So there are three basic bunny shapes. So each one has got a little Easter egg and a big Easter egg, a couple of ears, some legs, tail, and fiddling with a few of the lines. So have a little practice drawing those on a piece of paper before you do it on your painting paper. All right, so to paint, I've got a couple here. Now, really, I'm gonna keep these really simple. Um, we'll start, start here. I'm gonna take my rounded brush, it's quite small. I'm gonna get a little bit of, well, I'll show you the shape that it makes first. So, oh, no, we'll go straight onto the page. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my warm brown paint. I'm gonna paint one ear, oop, there. Didn't do a very good job of that. Then I'm gonna outline this ear because I wanna put some pink in that ear. Let's get a bit of tissue. So, I'm gonna clean my brush now, take some of my pink and put that in the middle there. I dragged the tissue over there so I've got some mucky paint on there. All right, then I'm gonna come back to my warm brown and I'm just gonna paint in. It doesn't matter if I touch that pink, that's okay. Come down for the pour, I'm just gonna use the shape of my brush. Now, when I come, when I get to this bit here, I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna join that shape to this leg because when I draw the pencil line out, I wanna be able to see that that's a bit of his thigh there. So I'm not gonna paint fully over that shape. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white line. Don't have to paint all everything in. You can keep some of it a little bit of white paper and a foot. I'm gonna put just a touch of that color in his tail. All right, then while that's wet, I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna now pick up a little bit of my dark brown and I'm gonna drop just a little bit into the front of his nose and let that let the water move that to wherever it wants. I'm not now gonna fiddle with that. I'm gonna put a little bit on the top of his ear as well you can put wherever you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm just, you know, they, they have those sort of chocolatey, sometimes have those little chocolatey ears on the top. So I'm just putting some of that in. And I'm gonna put a little bit of dark just at the bottom here. So again, I'm picking up that dark brown and coming in just to round him off a little bit at the bottom. We've got another layer to go on the top of this, so I don't have to worry too much. Now then I'm gonna put him on, you know, he's floating in the air, so I'm gonna put him on some ground. I'm going to pick up a bit of my indigo, my bluey black. You can put any whatever colour you want. And I'm just going to drag a little bit of ground 
underneath them. So don't, I don't want to colour a big block of ground. I just want to put a few brush strokes down there. Now I have to let that, oh, I might put a little bit of, on the top bottom of his paws, give him a little bit of brown there too. So I'm just washing my brush, cleaning it off. So my brush is drier than my page, just to spread that paint a little bit. Because if my brush is really wet and I put it in here and drop a whole lot of water in here, it'll push all the pigment out. So I'm gonna let that one dry. But you can see kind of here that white stripe that I've left in there. All right, so we'll do it, same thing to the next two. I won't drop my tissue on it this time. So one ear in the back, then here I'm gonna do a little bit of an outline because then I'm going to do that same thing where I pick up a little bit of pink and put a little bit of pink through there. Go back and pick up my warm brown. And again, you can paint these any color. You know, they come in all sorts of colors, so you don't have to paint them this co these colors. Um, here, I'm going to do that same thing where I'm just going to leave I'm gonna leave that little bit of white between this arm here and, and the back of him there, just so that you can see that that's what that shape is. Bit more color as I'm coming towards the bottom. I'm gonna leave a few little bits of white. Don't paint in his tail. Right, then I'm gonna pick up again. We're gonna go with the dark brown. I'm gonna do the same thing where maybe I'll put a little bit on the top of his ears, a little bit at the front of his nose. So this paper is still quite wet so that this brown is blending with the is spreading into the paint here and I'm going to put a little bit of dark down the bottom as well and it's really just because his back's rounded so that's to kind of tuck him under just a little bit you don't have to do that okay I'm starting to muck so I have to stop then I'm going to get my uh, indigo again and do the same thing, just touching to the bottom. Now, I'm at the moment I'm painting flat, which if you've got a lot of water in here, you probably should then tilt that up. If I sit this flat, which I'm gonna do because I'm gonna keep painting, but if this is sitting flat um, and there's too much water here, it will start to, because this is drier, because this is where I started to paint, because these surfaces here are touching, this water will push back up into there which I don't really want so to stop that you can just tilt it even if you just put your razor just underneath it and leave it on a little bit of a slant All right, and you can paint on a tilt that's fine I just I just don't tend to so I'm out of habit all right the last one same thing again I'm going to take my warm brown the ear at the back then I've got the little outline for this front ear wash my brush Take a bit of the pink. Oh, that's a lot of pink. Don't really want quite that much pink, so I'll wash my brush and just take that off a little bit. Um, back to my brown. So it's quite milky, this paint. I am gonna go over again um, and make it slightly darker. I've done the same thing here where I'm leaving a little bit of a line between um, the tummy there and the leg. And that's just my um, foot. Okay, then again, get my... And it doesn't matter. Now here you can see, because I've touched the brown here, this is leaking into that blue, which I don't really, I don't really mind. But if I, don't, if I want that to behave, I'll need to sit that up and dry it like that. Um, Okay, I'm gonna get that same thing again with the brown, a little bit of brown in the nose, maybe a little bit on the top of the ears. Maybe that's a bit much. So I can just take off the um, water in my brush. I'm just drying it on the tissue. Maybe a bit of brown down here. That will probably run into that blue, that's okay. All right, so now I have to let that dry. Now I think this one might be dry, we'll see. So if I go back to here, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm gonna get my um, fine liner and I'm gonna put in, you need, need to make sure this is dry before you do that, this. This is mostly dry. So a little sort of raindroppy shape kind of eye. 
little bit of a flick for the nose and I'm gonna just put in a couple of whiskers there as well. If I shut them dry, I can do the same thing here. Oh, this one's a little bit wet. Do, you're probably better off waiting until, until it dries. All right, bit of a nose. Okay, this one's too wet, so I won't do that. If I come back to this one, this one doesn't have, this one's got quite a bit of, um, I don't mind the color here. There's a reasonable amount of pigment there because I put on a bit of darker paint, but we're a little bit light up the top. What I can do is because I'm dry in there now, so fully dry, I can, I'm picking up a bit more of my warm brown paint. And what I can do is come over the top. I'll just make a, like a little ring of white there around the eye. Bring that paint down. Just so that if you want to make it a bit darker, you can, but you do need to wait until that's dry to be able to put that second, second layer on. Otherwise you'll move the paint underneath. Um, and then I also want to strengthen up under here. Maybe I'll take some brown, some of them are dark brown. So I'm dry under there, just to make that shadow a little bit darker. So again, it's dry. I've come in, I've wet the paper. Now if I come in with a bit more pigment underneath and just let that, again, you can tilt that, tilt that up to let it dry, but I'll just let that do its own thing. Uh, come along, do the same thing here. So he's not quite dry, but you'll get the idea. So if I want to, if I want to fix up, maybe I want that colour of the ear to come in a bit more. I miss that shape there. Come around the eye a bit. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. And don't. I want to keep light on the back, so I don't really want to cover that all in. I'll keep some little bits there. Again, come in with the. So I'm going to have a milky, milky brown here. Then I'm cleaning my brush and just dragging that down. And then while that's still wet, I'm getting a thicker bit of paint and just bringing that under. So this is sort of, if you did the flamingo, this is the same kind of idea that we had with the reflection that we had with the flamingo. All right, this guy's dry now. So I can put a little bit of an eye in. You can use the paint to do that. It's just that because I've done them really little, it's much easier, I think, with the pen. Um, so come and I'm picking up again my warm brown paint so that I can just do that little bit more color on there and put that little ring around the eye and tidy up any shapes that I don't really like. There. And that white's probably a little bit too much. So the, the little whites are good, but if you leave too many, it can be a bit distracting. So I think that's probably okay. You could put a little bit of warm on the bottom of his foot if you wanted to. And now I'll come and do the brown thing again. So milky paint, I'll come underneath him. So now that's wet, wash my brush and drag that down a little bit. I don't really like that one. I didn't do a very good job there, but anyway, you can do a better job. Then I'm getting slightly thicker paint just dragging it underneath there and coming out and letting that letting that dry. And I flicked well, when I did that. Flicked some paint up there, um, and so that's that's sort of the idea of the bunny rabbits. And so you can go and do things like you know sit them sit them together, do a whole bunch of them together, try different different colours, and you know you see those beautiful bunnies that have got um, they're white with with brown or black patches so you can do that pretty pretty easily with those so have a go and happy easter